good, right? Sure. Good enough. Turn this way. Waiting to go live. Da 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 da. Ba ba ba. Hello, everybody. Let me pause this. Save some of our bandwidth. There you go. Choop. Take it away. All right. How's everyone doing? It is time to begin. Shenmue. Oh, time to continue. Yeah, not begin. Continue. Uh, the many of the chat. Are we muted? Hello. Cool. Uh, oh, hey, everyone. So last time, which was a few months ago now, I played like two and a half hours. And the people that were there really wanted me to continue on. And they wanted to just, you know, beat it in chunks. So That's we're continuing exactly where we left off last time. Maybe they can remind us where you were. Yeah. The three blades... Hmm. Is what I recall. So we're just getting started. What's Two up, RHD? Yeah. Didn't get very far. Yeah, you know. What can you Not do, a bad right? thing. So I just want to say, for those of you who don't know Matt Blair, he is partially responsible for my revitalized Shenmue insanity and my hype. He sits across from me <laughs> and. He is definitely the biggest Shenmue fan here, and myself as well. I was just going to say, don't sell yourself short. Yeah, and, you know, I just look at him every day, and I just think Shenmue. So, he's joining us. I have us. that effect on people. Yeah. How, how, often, how often would you say that I just randomly play the Shenmue theme during... Uh, <clears throat> 1.3 times a day, probably. <laughs> I'll just play it full blast... And I'll look over at Matt, and he'll, he'll just shake his head. <laughs> RHD has never played. It's kind of tough to play it. If you, I mean, if you owned a Dreamcast and you didn't play it, then shame on you. But if you never owned a Dreamcast, oh. you have to buy a Dreamcast to play it. So, unfortunately, because we don't have any HD remakes or anything like that. It's coming. Hopefully coming. Look at this rainy day. There's some dogs barking. So Matt, first off, why is Shenmue great to you? I mean, do you, first, my first question, it, 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 it involves that. Do you think we are blinded by nostalgia? Do you think if anyone jumped into the game now that hadn't played it growing up, do you think they would appreciate it and enjoy it? It depends on what they appreciate in their game. I mean, this I don't think there's been quite an immersive world made in any game since this game. And that, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because obviously most people want a more streamlined experience out of their games. But still, to this day... This I, world that's, is alive. That's one of those things that I love about this game. That's one of the reasons why I will never forget it. It's because Rio's hometown feels like my hometown, because I spent enough time there. And the way that the world works, and the amount of work that they put into making this world feel alive, is completely different from any other game that exists. The Falk 55. That that line gives me chills. Hit Long D's delivery. Where is the mirror? I know, I was actually just talking about that. Emulating this game, HD probably looks crisp. I would imagine. I saw my buddy, uh, I was talking to Boston about this earlier, my buddy emulated Super Mario Sunshine on really? GameCube, and it looks really good. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised that one doesn't have an HD remake already. Yeah. The day the snow changed to rain? <laughs> so many memorable lines. So Our HD, on? you might want to start learning how to spell it correctly if you want to fit in. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Just remove the C and you're good. Watch out. Our HD's going to ask us some really tough questions as this stream progresses. Sega says there are issues forcing into widescreen, as I imagine there would be. You're just stretching out compressed stuff, so it's kind of dumb to do that. Unless, of course, somebody wouldn't alter the code. Which is what they're doing with Resident Evil HD Remastered, because that's going to be 16 by 9. Was that not 16 by 9 on the GameCube? Correct. Always thought it was. It wasn't. Interesting. Yeah. 
I mean, this sense. town, I just want to say, I said it earlier, it just feels alive. It feels like people live in this world. People do live in this world. It is crazy. The the I remember the the time of day. <laughs> Run me over, buddy. I remember the time of day mechanic, and everyone has the schedules they follow. Mm-hmm. That reading that in magazines. Speaking of which, you've wasted a, more than half of the day just walking around. That's all right. <laughs> seven. Remember seven ish. Oh, I hope it wasn't seven a.m. Supposed to meet a guy at a at a jacket shop at seven ish. Oh, the here dragon shops are in the other corner. RHD, here he begins. Matt, if you could have Shenmue through your lease, but it, you wouldn't be allowed to play it, would you? Selflessness. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Because if it didn't get released, I still wouldn't be able to play it. So. <laughs> Good luck. All right, I gotta find this jacket shop. If nothing else, I'd be able to watch this guy play it on Twitch or something. <laughs> oh no, son. Hey, Rio! Hey! Voice acting. Impeccable. Yeah. Yes, we Do are you playing know a guy games. named Charlie? VMU and Charlie? all. Charlie? You know him? With a He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka-san at the jacket shop? The jacket shop. I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Shenmue 1. Thank you. Shenmue 1. The jacket shop. But before then, we need a drink. I need a drink. A soda, perhaps. Jolt Cola. We got money to spare. Get the coffee drink. Fresh brew. Fresh brew! Down here, right? There you go. Fresh brew! This one's for you, Ryu! <laughs> Vampeevil, this is my favorite game of all time. You are a good soul. I'm still convinced Shenmue HD is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I think it has to happen. It will. There's no way that game is not coming out. Vamp, you don't have to sell your soul. Ah, Dreamcast for like 40 to 50 bucks on Amazon or, or uh, eBay or something. Well, maybe not anymore. Maybe 60. I don't know. I'd have to look. Drugstore. Find drugs. That, find that jacket shop. I think it's over this way, right? Tom's. Here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. What's he like? He wears sunglasses, a black leather jacket, and has a tattoo also. Uh uh. I don't know him. I see. Don't know I see. Okay. That was the wrong judge. Seafood. Here it is. Is the game volume a little too high? Never too high. Too high or too low? Oh, whoa. Yeah, that is high. It's not really high. Bring that, yeah. How's that? Even even a little lower. Well, let us know how that is. We oh, want it perfect. Is, oh, that was okay. <laughs> what is that? Maybe a little lower. Yeah, here it is. Itoi-san. Yes! Do you know a man named Charlie? Uh, Charlie? Charlie? I know Charlie Chaplin, but he's no <laughs> longer Charlie. with us. I assume you mean someone local? Yes, someone alive and from around here. He has a tattoo. Hmm, I have no idea. I see. He doesn't know. Oh, that's the patches shop. Yeah, man. Gotta find thinking? a jacket shop. You're standing right in front of it, right there. Where? Dude in the camo. Dude in the camo. Come on, man. Don't you have this game memorized? Yeah, it's been a while. This guy, no way. That's the military surplus. Oh. Well, that's somewhere in this area, I think. Yeah, let's ask him. Right. Right. Yo, so Shenmue how 3 are is not from Rio's perspective. It is from Random Scrub. They call him Random Scrub because nobody knows his name. <laughs> he is the uh, he is the tramp played by Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> and the gameplay is different. Do you play it or no? You could put the title Shenmue Three on any box, 
and I would pay any amount of money for it. How about that? Deal. Yeah, honestly. Deal. Done. Put it on any box. As long as it's directed by you, Suzuki. <laughs> you see, you can't just make up. Whoa. Ooh, there we go. Showdown. Look at this random event. Oh, this is emotional. <laughs> Love this guy. Look at this music. Look at those hands. He's drinking. Look nothing. at the damn hands of the man. They are <laughs> so It's snowing. Yamagashi san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? We are not looking for sailors. I was having a drink yeah, with your father. Yeah. Alright, good. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. <laughs> By the way, have you ever learned this move? They huh? take that stuff a little less seriously over there regardless, so the bar is a little bit lower in that It's my favorite move in the game. Oh yes. This is my favorite move. I forget what it's called. Frame rate. Yeah, it, yeah, it's an what move is that? It's an ancient technique yeah. that I once taught to Iwao. Well. Only endearing to those who played it back to my father. Martial arts masters often exchange There's a lot techniques. of lifeless of voice acting nowadays as Just well. Just as your father and I did. Check out Sacred Three. We were very good friends. <laughs> it must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Damn right. Please teach me. Favorite move. So for the rest well, of this stream, we're just gonna no go park like in the, the parking presence. lot and practice moves. I'll teach you <laughs> right That's here. Literally all we're right doing now. <laughs> it's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. It's not for I'll me. show you the footwork work first, so watch carefully. I'm pretty sure it's like Y and X, right? Forward. Take y one X. step forward and build up your it's energy. Then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. Well, the VMU this is the double oh, yeah. blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Dance pad controls, I would still play it. Good. That's the way. So, oh, yeah. Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. So awesome. See the now, VMU. try it again. Just giving nice. you prompts. Well, I think it's the same person voicing the old man. You're doing just in too between many moves. Sips of whiskey. I didn't hear what he said. You're moving too much. There we go. Shift your weight forward. Whoops. <laughs> forward, dang it. One step forward. Forward. Try forward, One forward. One step forward. Time. He's going like side. Yeah, you're using the dodge button, that's why. A is hand straight. You're doing too many moves. Or B. Or X. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to use your legs. Alright, here we go. Nope. <laughs> if Shenmue 3 is not Remember related to, to 1 and 2, I don't so think I thought... that's possible. Well? Did you do it? It's difficult, huh? Ah, uh, you suck. You're making fun of me! I'd better show you one more time. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. It is called Shenmue because of the legend Please. of the Shenmue tree, which you learn a little bit about in 2. The very Good. end. The very end of 2. But you, you get hints out all the way through. Like, halfway through 1, there's a hint at it. Take and then one step two, forward like, and, and stuff. build up your energy. But that is kind of yet to be established. Strike with your arms and legs at the we same time. Know, like, 
The Shenmue tree is where he meets up and learns about his fault. Now you try. First, in you know, short, long story made forward. short. Good. So the inputs That's being no strict way. is actually kind of the strength of this game. Then it's why I like a lot forward. of different other games that have strict you specific your controls. Arms and legs it's because as you, you can master it a lot easier palms. if the controls are now, very tight. Now, try it again. There Boom. it is. There you go. Boom. Look at that. Well, I see you've managed Ford to do X it. and A right on there. Yep. Thank you. The double blow was, was developed during the 16th that century. That Tom's roundhouse kick. It's a yeah. very powerful technique. Especially when you practice it a lot. If master. done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Look at his jacket. Do you want to practice the old some more to make sure you've Horse. mastered it? Want that brown leather jacket. They never sold one. That's all. No, I think I've got it. I see. Really? All right. Perhaps you'll to be the jacket fine. shop. <laughs> Keep at it and good luck. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look Gotta forward to that to day. Nozomi. That's right. What are we gonna say though? What's a good pickup line for Nozomi? Somebody come up with something. Double blow. That's Master. what it was called. There you go. Great move. So good. Map around here? Arm break fire is pretty badass, too. Yeah. Tough one to pull off, actually. Jacket shop. Excuse me. Hey! <laughs> I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah. You know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. <laughs> he knows him. Like, he knows what Dio he's talking about. I'm pretty sure that's a real line. Oh, he's showing game. off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? About that guy? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a four loser. Five days ago. It could <laughs> be know anyone. What a find loser. Him? Nah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. I see. Alright. There you go. I think Dios has the top runner right now. So go back to the Jagged Chop around 7, right? Yeah, you got about an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll see Charlie. Otherwise known as 30 seconds. Let's see if Nozomi's still working. I'm gonna go home. She's gone. Oh, she's in there. Hang on. Oh. Nope. Old lady. Oh. We have to give the old um, lady the pickup line yes. instead. Yeah. I'm searching for a man named Charlie. Eyes. Doesn't ring a bell. I'm sorry. You I have to ask someone else. Charlie. I see. <laughs> so recent Ryu Suzuki or Ryu Hazuki in Sega All Star Racing. Mm-hmm. Shemu 3 confirmed. Yeah. It's definitely. Coming. Yeah. Absolutely. He is not forgotten. There's no way. Ooh, what's your favorite gotcha toy? Um, I love Tom. the I love the Hi virtual fighting capsules. To be honest with you, I'm I went straight for, for the second name Charlie. I didn't really Do you know him? the other ones. Charlie, Charlie. He wears sunglasses, a black he does jacket, drive a and has a tattoo on his arm. His special power is no, I you don't unlock know the motorcycle him, man. Or something, right? Really? Or is it the other way around? I think he always drives the forklift in that game, in Sega. Yeah. And no, he has the OutRun car, too. Oh, yeah, that's the, right. our, the arcade cabinet. <laughs> this is so great. <coughs> Look at this G-Man right here. Uh-oh. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Japanese G-Man. <laughs> Excuse me. Terribly sorry, but I just can't now. This guy's mysterious. Ask me later, will you? Looking for Gordon Freeman, man. Holy crap. He's looking for the free man. 
pop fiction coming your way. <laughs> Half-Life 3 and Shenmue are in the same universe. What if you just follow this guy? Where do you think he'll go? He'll probably disappear like that person just appeared. I'm gonna follow this guy for a minute. Let's see what this guy's up to. <laughs> Oh, that frame rate. Can't have too many people on the screen at the same yeah. time. Yeah, the draw distance is pretty hilarious. With the characters. Six o'clock. I like how you can hear the disc spinning faster just so that they can load that cat mm -hmm. that comes onto the street. I think they really pushed this machine to the max with this game, to be fair. I think the biggest tragedy was uh, two, like, not two, not releasing in. Uh, America, on Dreamcast at least, you know? Talk well, about a, like, the reason this game isn't huge, I feel like? Number one, this guy's going to get a drink or something. We're falling, we're he's gonna, going to pick what up if he just drop. robs this place right now? Uh, he's picking up a dead drop. Like, number one is on Dreamcast, and number two is on Xbox? Yeah. At least it came out. <laughs> but I mean, the, like, not, all, not only are, are they on different systems, but one is on Dreamcast, which didn't do very well, and then the True. sequel is on a system that wasn't really about these types of games. Well, I think Microsoft probably saw it as a chance to capture this part of the market, or at least to, on paper, and said, yeah, sure, we'll give you some money to publish on a console. Either that or it was just cheaper to port over to than the uh, PS2 was. This guy's so shady. Can rock out to this music all day long. Mm -hmm. What's this guy doing? The Shenmue saga is really about the tomato stores. To be fully honest with you. Yeah, the Falk. I imported two on... Uh... Dreamcast, the European version, mm. but that was rare for people to do that. You know, I think I paid hundred bucks for the <laughs> copy, and I was a, a wee little lad. Yep. At the time, vodka shots is like me. I had no idea that there even was a Shenmue 2 at the time. I stumbled across it on the um, on the shelf at a used game store for mm. eight bucks. It's just a bizarre console and, uh, launch. Well. I didn't have an Xbox at the time, so yeah. I picked up this $8 game, and then I went to the counter, and I bought a $90 used Xbox so that I could play my $8 game, being Shenmue 2. Awesome. This is awesome. The year is 2033. Yu Suzuki. Yu Suzuki announces a new project, unnamed, but related to Shenmue. He probably announces it a Shenmue 1 and 2 reboot, free to play for mobile with microtransaction. It throws out the original story and makes the new one canon player. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, let's answer this question just so that he has to come up with something more yeah. specific. Than yes, that. I would play it. Yes, I would play it. The answer is. Anything Shenmue related, Matt Blair and myself are playing it. Fact. Well, you can't throw that blanket over top of it because we want him to try to come That's up with something to stump us. They could do some bad things, though. Where I might, I'd be against it. Maybe. That would be really bad. <laughs> yeah, that'd be horrible. But to be honest with you, like Shenmue Online, I wanted to play, but that was defunct at the time, like by the time we even got to it. So, uh, I don't, the Dreamcast, I don't think was region free. Was it? No, I had to get a boot disc right, yes. for my European copy. Yeah. They didn't have the greatest region locking in the world, but it was yeah. not region free. They did not make Shenmue 3, not really, no. They had a, they had two different things. They had Shenmue Online with Shenmue 1 on the Dreamcast in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they, I think they tried to release it in America, and I don't know whether yeah. it lasted for a month or didn't last at all. But And then a mobile game was going to come out, but it never did, I think. Well, there was a... There was a mobile Nokia mobile phone game, yeah. and there was also a browser-based game, and I think that was in Europe and Japan. Somebody might have to correct yeah. me on that one. And vodka shots, yeah. The Dreamcast Shenmue 2 did not have English voiceover. That was correct. Correct. Yep. Here we go. Ready to kick some ass. Oh no! It's oh, it's nighttime. Ah. Oh, uh. Apparently, the official strategy guide for Shenmue 
Even has the blood type of every NPC. Good to know, in case you accidentally murder someone with an axe. Siphon their blood. Looking for a man with a leather jacket. Here we go. Now we're gonna kick some ass. Look at this. Yeah, I can teleport. Do not screw up. Yo, now. What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? <laughs> you know, you're a good fighter. <laughs> I was impressed. So, I'm looking for a guy named <laughs> the Black Charlie. Japanese Arnold Charlie. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on, I'll take you to meet him. Oh, this is the first time you actually have a real fight. Yep, well... This blew my mind, because I didn't know... I thought the whole game was going to have fighting that were QTEs. And then now... Yeah. Action RPG style. Here we go. You better dust off the double blow. <laughs> we got ya! Come on, tough guy! <laughs> this guy is Give such a bitch. What you got. Yeah. I forgot about this guy. It's a brawl. It's a street fight. Do it. I want to see some reversals here. Oh, the move. Oh, you barely even nicked it. There you go. <laughs> Rocked. Let's see some fancy kicks. Forget the... Oh. I, don't, I don't know if you've learned all of the, all of the moves yet. Yeah, I haven't learned anything real good. We'll that was just up, the first fight. Pick up some of the move scrolls in the shop before too long here. <laughs> Remember your training, everyone says. <laughs> including what looks like Peter Dinklage, but isn't. <laughs> oh. Don't mess with Ryu. Look at him. Break is He's so intense. So, do you know Charlie? The tone I, of this I game. don't know any Charlie. Want to talk about that Where'd next. you get the tattoo? Okinawa. Fuck him up. Yes. I'm oh, yeah, lying, by the way, this stream but there's is there's a tattoo parlor in your casket too. A friend told me Team about it. Kids. Where's the tattoo parlor? So I can't say that word one I more time. <laughs> I'm probably going to gotta believe me. The punches and kicks sound like you're getting hit with a kendo stick, which is just classic kung fu. Notepad, what did we learn? Tattoo parlor. <coughs> Let's go get a tattoo. Let's do it. You know, you can press X to pull up the notepad while you're not fighting. There it is. Learn something new every day. Yeah, I remember that. I um, yeah, you. Tattoo parlor. So the tone. It's. Tone of the game. It's, it gets really dark at, at parts, 